Where are we picking up this? Your baby was crying this morning. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. We're here. We're here. This is the other uh, woman. Me up. You hear me? Yes. With the kid. Well, you should have stayed with your own kind. You listen to me. Shut your mouth. And somehow this woman thinks that she is any better than her. That's what? wild. Uh oh. Guys, they seem to be just pillaging for the sake of pillaging. Uh, let's see where this goes, guys. I should never have left her there. You couldn't have known. Of course I could have known. You put her in harm's way accidentally. Close by. We just it's cover in here while the Our though. brothers, brothers had orders to stay at Castle Black. I thought all of you was. You went up north with Mormon and no one came back. Not for ages. But then you did. She might have got out. If they hit Moles down, then we're next. How do 102 men stop 100,000? <laughs> The Dothraki think outsiders are ridiculous taking shame in the naked body. They make love under the stars for the whole Kalisar to see. Well, I don't see why it matters. Grey Worm isn't interested. None of the Unsullied care what's under our clothes. Maybe he does. He was interested. Yeah, he was what? He was thoroughly interested, guys. I believe he was interested. He was. The pillar and the stones. I don't know, Your Grace. Oh, my. Haven't you ever wondered? Nah. Do you remember the name you were given at birth? I remember nothing. Only Ansali. When they cut you. Do you remember that? Why sorry? It's a terrible thing to do to a boy. Absolutely. Yeah. If the masters never yeah. cut me, I never am Ansali. I never meet Miss Sunday. From the island of Nath. I am sorry. Okay. You were definitely long staring at her body, bro. And Oh. Me well. Everyone yes, saw you. Including you. And I mean you watching. What do you tell them? Theon Greyjoy, son of Balon, heir to the Iron Islands. And what are you really? I'm Rick. Are you sure? <laughs> Guys, Theon's like modern day storyline is absolutely <laughs> atrocious. Uh, I think he should have been deleted probably within the first hour of his existence with the fact that they are dragging it on and dragging it on and dragging it on. And then just to now make him be the person yeah, you well, told him sir. he wasn't. It's just, it's a different level, bro. I'm kenning. Commander of this garrison. What is dead may never die. Why are you marching with a Bolton army? Lord Bolton right. took me captive after Winterfell. Lord Bolton implores you to protect your men and abandon this fortress you can no longer hold. And he will be just and fair with you as he has been with me. Bro. <laughs> the Boltons will give you safe passage to the There's nothing about shore. just. He wants us to surrender. Or fair. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. <laughs> Right. No shame. Fought with honor. Only a whip dog would speak this way. Or a woman. If we yield, we live. Is no. that what he says on this paper here? Bro, he's going to. Oh. You're going to be deleted as soon as you exit. Where are we without our history? The flayed hey. man, guys. Yes, my lord. Guys, we haven't seen Bran in a, in a while. Lord Royce. Well, she told me nothing about you, Baelish. Fawning over the Lady Aaron. Lady Aaron invited me 
She and I have been close since childhood. Yes, we all know how close you were. Lady Aaron's predilections were her own affair. She was an odd fish. Everyone knew that. But odd she adored fish is that a boy of hers. light. I don't see her abandoning him. Definition. Not by choice. A girl. A niece of yours, I believe. Whoa. A girl with no learning and scattered wits, I assure you, she would be of no help. We'd like to speak with her. Do that. Do that. Right now. Let me Do it right her. now. No need. <laughs> <laughs> Come Tell them me, everything. Child. Tell them everything right now. I'm sorry, Lord Baelish. I, I have to tell the truth. Do it. Do it right now. She's not going to do it. My name's not Elaine. It's Sansa Stark, eldest daughter of Lord Eddard Stark. Sansa Stark? You tell lies right to my face, you yeah. little worm. Lord he, he, he did, he did. Told many lies. Right, trash. Where are we going with this? Protect me. Since my father Bro. was executed, I had no friends in King's Landing except one. Don't say Lord Baelish. Oh. With my own blood, my aunt Lysa. That's crazy, guys. The Lannisters have friends everywhere, even the Vale. Tell us what happened to your aunt, sir. When the gods finally allowed her to be with Lord Baelish, she was so happy for a time. My aunt was a jealous lady. Right. Lord Baelish is my uncle now, in truth, by marriage. Bro, listen. He's so, always been so kind okay. to me. Cursed me. Don't do the fake whore, cry. Promised Please to don't do the fake cry. Through the moon door. She's, she's done. When Lord Baelish Bro. tried to calm her, she struck him. She stepped through those doors and she was... It was funny, someone in my real life had asked me, hey, uh, why do you respond negatively when you see someone crying? And I responded with my, my autistic brain um, and telling them blatantly, I think that if you cry in front of me, I'm not going to give you any sympathy, but I'm just going to think you're really attempting to manipulate the exact situation you're in. And she right there proved it to me. She's, this is, this, I mean, she's helping this man. I don't know why you're helping. I don't understand it, but maybe we'll find out later. Uh, well, obviously we'll find out later, right? But, but right now I'm just definitely confused with why you would want to help this man. Um, you literally have an out from this right now, right? If you would have told the truth, but instead you didn't. I think that you should have more trust in these people than Lord Baelish and anything he has to offer. And the fact that you're you're lying in such a believable way, I don't know. I don't like it, right? It makes me feel uncomfortable. It feels like she manipulated the situation a little bit, guys. Crocodile tears. It's not your fault. This one here gets up and hugs her and consoles her. and She has to be telling the truth because she's crying. Bro, listen, this is wrong. <laughs> this is wrong, guys. Are you questioning our courage? I want to know which side you're on. I mean, do you support the Lannisters, the house that executed your friend Ned Stark? Well, of course we don't support the Lannisters. No. The Catelyn Stark begged her sister for support and Lysa refused. Who stands against him now? Hmm. Who would you have us back, Lord Baelish? Rob Stark is dead. I'd have you back. Rob and Aaron, sickly little boys, sometimes become powerful men. And that should and not happen, young. bro. I adored Lysa. He shouldn't rule anything. Heart. She loved her son so much she became overprotective. What's the end game, bro? Because I don't see yeah. that kid being a really good ruler, uh, like at all. I don't think that he's a good person. His character is interesting, but he's absolutely terrible, right? He just wants to make the bad people fly. Sir Barristan, Sir Jura, what's this? A royal pardon, signed by Robert Baratheon. What? Have you told her? I wanted to tell you first, man to man, rather than go behind your back. Let me speak with her in private. You'll never be alone with her again. Oh, 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 oh. where are we going with this, bro? Um, yeah, he spied on her. We all know that. He was sent to basically delete her. Uh, he stopped that with that with the wine situation. 
uh, much earlier in the show, guys, right? But here's the thing. He understood that the best hope in, like, bringing any type of, I don't know, anything to Westeros is through Daenerys, right? That's it. I mean, so... <sighs> I definitely like to see where this goes as of right now. Um, but my overall thought patterns are, are pretty much the same as they were when we found out that he was doing it in the first place. Look, I think he's a, he's in he's a solid character. Guys. Why were you pardoned? Unless you're saying this document was forged. What was the content of these letters? Information. What information? When you and Viserys arrived in Pentos, his plan to marry you to Khal Drogo. When you were married, when your brother died. You told them I was carrying Drago's child? I... Yes or no? Calice. Don't call me that. Did you tell them I was carrying Drago's child? Yes. I don't know if this is smart, guys. I don't know if this is smart at all. I understand. I understand her, her rage. Right? It's warranted. Absolutely. He's extremely honorable, and also the guy who showed him the letter, he's also another extremely honorable individual. He, for some reason, she just attracts, like, super honorable people. Um, this guy here absolutely was sent to do something. He basically changed his mind about doing it. And then ever since that day, he has been... One of her best counsels. Do I say forgive him? No. Obviously not, right? But understand that your team is now much weaker without him. Okay? That's it. That's where I am mentally um, in involving this very specific situation. I think that she will regret this, though. Let me back with the Boltons. The North is larger than the other six kingdoms combined, and I am the Warden of the North. The North is mine. Now tell me, what is your name? Ramsey Snow. No, not Ramsey Snow. Open it. From this day until your last day, you are Ramsey Bolton. Okay. <laughs> so now we, now we, I kind of understand one thing now, at least from this, is that a a, a bastard can be just legitimized. Like, at an adult age. Pro. A girl from the North come to the capital for the first time. Not a child any longer. Right. They would have thrown you through the moon door if they found you guilty. So? So? It's not an answer. They'd have executed you. What would they have done with me? I don't know. Neither do I. Better to gamble on the man you know than the strangers you don't. Nah, I think she would have had a better run with them, to be honest, guys. You want her. I thought it'd make me happy. But it doesn't. Not really. Nothing makes you happy. Is that it? At least I could have been there to watch. I wanted right. to see the look in his eyes when he Oh, it was them. beautiful. Aye. It was beautiful. Nothing in the world beats that look. You should have let me burn it. It's the flea bite. That flea bite's got you walking a lot slower than you used to. Sander Clegane and his traveling companion, Arya Stark, niece of your lady Lysa Arryn. Then I offer my condolences. Lady Arryn died. Oh, this man is having the worst luck getting, getting Three days some money. Ago. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, the, the circumstances are absolutely hilarious, but they're not funny. They're, they're no, not funny. Time before Uncle Peter. <laughs> I'm afraid to leave. Worry about your life. Take charge of your life for as long as it lasts. That is what it means to be Lord of the Vale. Trial by combat. Deciding a man's guilt or innocence in the eyes of the gods by having two other men hack each other to pieces. Tells you something about the gods. Start to get a, um, a sense that this episode is probably going to be one of those uh, setup episodes, guys. Most likely the next episode is going to be full of, like, all the action. 
Do you think Oberyn has a chance? The Red Viper of Dawn. You don't get a name like that unless you're... I've never seen him. Or just fight. fast. Oh, he's going to... That's striking. I'm going to... Oberyn believes in himself. That's putting it mildly. Fratricide is brothers. Mm. Phyllicide is sons. Bro, you could... You guys could have definitely recorded... Um... You know, him urinating, just Patricide, not so Patricide. not so much in high def. Do you remember cousin Orson, Orson Lannister? Of course. Wet nurse dropped him on his head, left him simple. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing made him happy. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's rough, guys. That's rough. Infinity for the afflicted. On the contrary, Imagine laughing at another. Two people with with like visual disabilities now. Talking about someone else with another disability and, and just making a joke out of the craziness, guys. So that means that when someone makes makes light of yours, you shouldn't be upset then, right? Hopefully not. Why was he smashing all those beetles? Why did he get out of it? So, I went to Maester Valeric's library. Valeric, try to touch me once. Turns out, far too much has been written about great men and not nearly enough about morons. Watch him, the way men watch animals to come to a deeper understanding of their behavior. I became more and more sure of it. Okay. There was something happening there. Of course. His face was like the page of a book written in a language I didn't understand, but he wasn't mindless. He had his reasons. I read the histories of Targaryen conquest. Did I hear dragon wings? No, I heard kuh, kuh, kuh. How many countless living, crawling things smashed and dried out and returned to the dirt? Right. Until that mule kicked him in the chest and killed him. What was it all about? I don't know. He had his own very specific reasons to do exactly what he did. I can't even think of a reason why someone would do that other than the fact that they just have this one overall task they're trying to complete. And their task is getting rid of every single beetle on the planet, apparently. So I guess we're coming up to the final scene. Oh, it's the trial. You shouldn't drink before a fight. You learned this during your years in the fighting pits. <laughs> I always drink before a fight. You're going to fight that? That. I'm going to do that. All right. All right, guys. All right, so really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and try to forecast this. I think the guy from Dorne is just about to be annihilated, bro. I'm sorry. I don't really have much faith in his uh, potential. Guys, have you seen the mountain? That man sliced through a horse with one swing because he was angry at his own horse, bro. That's what he did. That's a different type of, of human being. But all right, listen, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to the mountain. Um, this guy from Dorne has been here only for this season, so I don't know. Um, he's also a pretty large actor, so I don't know that either. He's, he's obviously much more famous than Thor is, right? Um, the guy who's playing the mountain, now at least. <laughs> In the sight of gods, and may the warrior guide the hand of our champion. It right, bro, stop talking. Guys, his stunt double is really good. I am the brother of Elia Martel. And do you know why I've come all the way to this stinking pile of a city? For you? <laughs> Say it now and we can make this quick. <laughs> you children. Bro, he's not going to say that. Oh, he, he's super nimble, bro. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Ooh. Right. Okay, nah, bro. The mountain, the mountain is about to be packed up, guys. You haven't confessed. <laughs> Who gave you the order? Who gave you the order? Say her name! Say it! Bro. What you should have done. This. Did he hit him one time and knocked all of his teeth out of the. 
Never mind, bro. You're done. Oh! Bro, th that man's. You're hereby sentenced. <laughs> All right, guys. Listen. So the a ab absolutely. The end of this episode was the best part of this entire episode for me personally. <sighs> Jorah getting caught. Um, I don't know what do you call that caught, guys. Did Jorah get caught? Jorah getting found out. I didn't really expect for that whole situation to come back up. Um, I remember, you know, you know them sitting at the table with Varus and Varus saying, "Oh, of course I can get some information into Marine." And I think, you know, that's obviously where all of this, this whole thing came from. It is um, it is the Lannister's fault that this is being brought back up purposely to obviously divide. Jorah is not wrong in that very specific instance. He's not. It is their fault, the reason why this is happening. Now, the next thing here, uh, I don't understand why Sansa chose to stick up for Littlefinger. I definitely think that Sansa should have probably went against him and stuck with the people from the Vale. But, I mean, at the same time, they did say that uh, um, the Lannisters are everywhere. So maybe that was pretty much what was on her mind when she decided to lie and stick up for Littlefinger. Littlefinger is also trying to get the boy to be the Lord of the Vale, but that boy can't be, shouldn't be anything. Anything. Also can't wait for Sam to find out that that girl is still alive. That's a good thing. It'll be a really good thing for him um, and his overall mindset. He's also one of my favorite characters. Her, him and uh, him and Arya, I would say, are probably like my favorites, guys. Tyrion is, is pretty much up there also, right? But I definitely, in terms of like honor, just straight honor, I definitely would say Sam and uh, I don't know. I don't think Arya's honorable like that i just think that she's gangster and i like it i can't explain it i can't put it i cannot put it into any other words than aria is a gangster and i like it that's it now the ending here um i definitely thought the mountain was going to win and he ended up winning because he's the mountain i just don't see him going anywhere i think he's more important to the story than the guy from dorne that i still can't remember his name uh, oberon is that his name oberon now his overall Reasons for doing is to obviously avenge the, the um, his sister, let's say, right, and the kids, and um, you know he was going off of anger. He really should have just, while he was on the ground, deleted the mountain when he had a chance. You allowed the mountain to get his strength back and hit you in the mouth one time and knock all your teeth out. That's what happened. All right, that's crazy. All right, but listen, um. All right, so if you guys want to see the full-length uh, reactions, uh, they are on Patreon at the second tier. And uh, if you guys are currently on Patreon, just uh, sit tight, guys. We're going to go ahead and jump to the next one right now, right? But yeah, if you guys are on YouTube, I'll catch you guys uh, next week or whenever the next release is. It's generally Monday or uh, on Wednesday, guys, all right? But yeah, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.